Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video I want to give you a quick update because Cardano is getting to a close or quick or important decision point. Yeah. So as I said in the last video, as long as Cardano is not above 96 cents, um, there is still a risk it's it's going to roll over again and that we are not back in an uptrend. Yeah. Because as long as that's not the case, what is Cardano doing? It's basically making a series of lower highs still and even lower lows, okay? Yes, there was this week down here, but if we take a look at the daily closed candles, um, we are making and we have been making lower lows um, yeah, for a long time now. So I wouldn't, to, to break that structure, we need to go in a first step, first above that 96, 97 cent level. Um, and we haven't done it yet. We haven't done it. And we are getting very, very close, even closer now to that key decision point. Of course, today, bit of a red candle, you know, after a good day, you typically have a little bit of a, of a correction down. That is just nothing really to, to, you know, to worry about. That is just daily volatility. It's a bit of profit taking maybe going on after the good um, performance that Cardano also did in the last few days, actually, because um, it did quite, um, it did outperform Bitcoin actually on its way up, which is nice. So, however, what, what we could see here, and that is also a reason why it was starting to come down a little bit now, bit of a double top here, but bear in mind, this is only the one hour chart, um, came down here, we came down with the um, daily RS, no, the, with the one hour RSI as well, because the one hour RSI was overbought. So naturally, you have to expect here a little bit of a price drop. Also, there was a bearish divergence on the one hour chart. You can see there was a slightly higher high or even double top, as I said, but if you then have the second high shows a lower high on the RSI, then that is an indicator that you can that you are going to roll over a little bit, and that is what the price did as well. Um, yeah. So now, what is happening now? I think it's consolidation going on here, and in my opinion, the down the uptrend isn't broken yet because you can draw an ascending trend line here, and as long as you are above that trend line, that's all good, and the price is going to move further towards that decision point. Yeah. I mean, we are far away from that 96 cent level, but at least we would get to a decision point where the decision will be, right, do I stay in this channel here? Because we are in a very, very long descending channel. There you go. In a very long descending channel. And that is obviously restricting Cardano's movements a little bit. If Cardano can break out of it, that could be a first good step, but it also needs to break above 96 cents. What is still important about 96 cents? First of all, it is that previous high here, but it's only high. That was resistance here, but we had support here as well. But it's not only that. It is also the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, the most relevant Fibonacci level. Yeah. So if we drop, uh, move above that, that has some meaning, that has some significance. So I would at least want to see that. Um, but more importantly, actually, we could call this a zone because you can see this previous high, this is actually um, also going all the way up to $1 and one. So let's say that zone starts at the 61.8% FIB level and finishes at that $1 and one level. So here is where Cardano needs to break through in order to make higher highs and continue its way up. I think it would be quite a good sign if Cardano was to break above that level and then also break out of that descending channel. At the moment, Cardano doesn't really show that, yeah? Doesn't really show that yet. Um, looking at the Bollinger Bands, for example, and the more meaningful ones are on the daily chart. Let's just zoom in. Where would be a point there where we are probably going to find resistance? Well, it will be very close to that resistance level of that channel, so here at around, um, yeah, 93 cents. So if you get to 93 cents, expect some resistance for from the Bollinger Bands, from the upper band. Um, we can also take a look at the EMA ribbon. Here, Cardano is currently trying to fight its way through the daily EMA ribbon. Uh, also, it will be very important to break above that, but also this one is at the 96 cent level. So again, you can see how relevant that price level is. We had, by the way, here a long signal um, a couple of days ago on the four hour chart. Um, and that again played out. 
that is a long signal on the EMA ribbon on the four hour chart. And as long as, as I said, as long as we are holding above that trend line, I think that's helpful. However, what is coming up here again, it doesn't look very impulsive to me, still looks a little bit three wave like similar to what we did back here end of February. Yeah, you had one peak came down second peak and you rolled over here also a little bit weaker, but still one peak came down second peak and you um, have a risk of rolling over. The only good thing is that for now we have no overlaps here. So you're not cutting with that low. You're not cutting yet into the previous high that is okay, but still it doesn't for me look very impulsive. You would need more power in this move up and more volume as well. And that's pretty much where we are getting close to the decision point, holding above the trend line now um, and very close to important resistance levels. So for me, we need to wait now how the market is reacting to that 96 cent level. If we really break above 96 and one dollar and one and we're holding that, I think this would be a good time for an entry. Yeah, for anybody who's speculation, uh, who's more into speculation and short term, long, tra uh, long trading for me. I'm already buying in these areas because I believe in the project long term, but this would certainly be the next level where a short term long trade opportunity would come up. Probably not now, in my opinion, because we are below important resistance levels. There was a long trade opportunity here when we broke out of that descending wedge, as we talked about it, but I didn't see the volume. So also I wouldn't have done it. I didn't see the volume. And um, yeah, it, it also what's coming up here is it's not really it's not really too impulsive, you know, what, what we would want to see is a 10, 15% um, in uh, 24 hours, that would be amazing. All right, that's my view here on Cardano at the moment, only quick update, um, but there's only limited news at the moment. So we need to need to wait how the market is going to react. Uh, and we're getting close to key resistance levels here and it will be very exciting to see how Cardano is going to react to that. All right, um, hopefully you liked that update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.